Well, we got something fun in the mail today. About the only thing that's been fun lately. Um, I'll show you what the box is. It's in the rework station. And it says professional manufacturing, excellent quality. Let's see how this works. It's made in China. Kind of covering barcodes and names. I don't need people. Sending me crap to the internet. So I got this just so I can do uh, surface mount part videos, tutorials, and stuff. I don't know which one I actually got. I think it was like $35. And it is the. Um, 858D, which I think I've done a video on this channel already of this, it's kind of a very happy video, but almost every one of them have a different name up here and they say 858, so this right here, these are just laser engraved, that's all this is, just laser engraved, the plate. They could put anybody's name here and then the 858D. Uh, here's where the bracket goes for the handle. It's actually pretty unique in design with a magnet here inside this base here. And what that does is this plugs in to the wand. And so that is a magnetic switch. Something. So this will shut itself down and cool off. And when you pick it back up, that's when it turns back on. Now there is a fan inside here and that's how it forces the air through the heating element on that. And that's all there is for this is connections for heating element and the fan. Could be something there for the switch as well. Just make it break the contact. Uh, interesting, to say the least. I had thought about taking this apart and seeing what's on the inside. Why don't we do that? That could be a fun little interesting video. What's inside of an 858 Saturn station? So this might actually be a good video for anybody wanting to repair their own unit. Obviously the, the most common problem is going to be the heating element in the, the wand and not the base. But just to see what's on the inside, curiosity always gets to the best of me. I'm just going to take a look at this. And I guess you can make this a left hand or a right hand station. It's up to you. And one screw on the top. Clippy to it. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to stay there or what's the deal. And there you have it. So this is the inside. Very dirty, very dirty inside. Let's bring you down. Um, well, might be a good thing that I took this apart. So, like I said, here's Transformers. Probably use Transformers for something else. It's very dirty. They didn't even cut the leads of uh, the display. All the leads are just sticking up. That's incredibly dangerous and just downright st stupid. Standoff for the, I'm guessing that the voltage regulator is pushed forward due to probably these wires. They have the ground connected to, okay, that's to the one, that's, that's fine. All right, so there's two red wires here for your, your positive stuff coming in. Notice the switch is bypassed. There's no, that switch is just a dummy switch. It has no functionality. <laughs> So once you plug this in, it's on. And it goes straight into here to the circuit board. Actually. Yeah, it goes over here to the circuit board. So 120 goes into here. It says hot, hot. So that means it is like 220. I'm going to disconnect this one here because it's coming from the transformer. Uh, that's going to the primary side, this transformer. I wanted you to look and see this switch here. Maybe it will just get in there. I mean, for $35, I know I'm not asking for much. But that is a terrible, terrible solder joint right there. There's a crack. Look at that crack. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible solder joint. That is just amazing. And they have the cheap push buttons here that just kind of floats. And the very small push buttons on the front. And that's how that works. And I use this pick. And that just sets this, the temperature. That's all that does. Temperature control. Wow. Now I'm looking at the pot. There's no physical connection, like mechanical connection for the pot to grab onto. So in case somebody was to pull this, it would just probably go with it if it's attached. And I'm trying to see if there's a good soldering job on that. I guess I can move all this junk wire. Um, one pin looks like there's barely any solder inside of it at all. Let me zoom in on that. You can see that. <laughs> wow. I'm almost afraid of plugging it in. It might catch fire. Well. Ten... Envio 858D PCB. That's the uh, it doesn't really have I kind of question if the fuse is actually of any integrity or connection at all. I highly doubt it. 
But yeah, the switch is not connected. This is a cheap 24 volt. Looks like it's 24. It says 48 times whatever, so that might not be it. I can't. They just scratched that. Yeah, so that's what you get, I guess. So what I need to do is take in, I'm gonna cut all these leads flat. I'm definitely gonna take in solder, or re-solder this, this switch down here. That's amazing. The uh, capacitor, this yellow guy kinda not even on the board, it's at an angle. And the parts are too large for that area. That's not even the right size capacitor for them to use. The so electrolytic capacitors are using Chang X brand. Probably cost a penny for each one. Chang X, Chong X. Who knows? Repurpose and reuse, uh, it's like it's pretty, like, burnt tip 132, and the solder is on there. It's like a this resistor here. See how it's got a green tint to that resistor? It's also got that on the, the, the circuit board, so it's spreading. And uh, obviously, this makes sure that's seated. Wow. Amazing. So, that's the inside of one of the cheap 858 soldering station. That's what you get. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.